I was asked in the comment section of one of my previous videos what my top plyos are. And I think the most important or the best plyo to do is sprinting. Sprinting is a plyo. Many people don't think about it that way. But I'm not going to include that in my top five because that's an answer that likely nobody wants to hear. And how I determine what my top five plyos are comes down to two things. What I use the plyos for to get better in other contexts and which plyos are going to provide the greatest stimulus to achieve those improvements in other contexts. The two things I want to get better at in other contexts are dunking. And in order to get better at dunking, it's mostly about improving the ability to translate horizontal momentum or horizontal speed into a vertical displacement of the center of mass. And the other thing is just changing direction in sports. And mostly in the context of basketball because that's the sport that I play the most, but also tennis, spike ball, volleyball, pickleball. I like to play pretty much any sport. So most plyos that I do choose, but not all, involve horizontal speed and emphasizing shorter ground contacts and or change of direction of my center of mass. Thinking about dunking, I'm a two foot dunker, not even close to dunking off of one foot. I'm 5'10", 230 to 235. Dunking off of one foot would be really hard for somebody with my build, but I still wanna train some one-legged takeoffs because I do use that in basketball like when driving to the rim. So I keep that in mind as well. The other thing here before I get to my list is I'm talking about intensive plyos. I don't think that extensive plyos are super necessary for most people. Not that it's a waste of time, but submaximal sport play, submaximal change of direction, submaximal running could be considered an extensive plyo. So most people get it in any way just by playing sports. So I do do some extensive plyos in my training, just not very often. And one other thing I like to remind people about regarding plyometrics is that you want to make good quality contact with the ground. And what I mean by that is that people often cue the term stiffness, which is fine, but you don't want your feet to hit the ground like a stack of bricks. There's a timing component to each takeoff. There's also a landing and a loading phase to create propulsion with each jump. Sometimes when you attempt to just create stiffness, you lose some of your propulsive capabilities. You want to bounce off the ground, and sometimes that requires some plasticity in your tissues. So with all of that in mind, here are my top five plyos. Number one is a bilateral broad jump plus vertical jump. Usually I just do this as a broad jump plus a tuck jump. Obviously you can do the vertical jump with a hurdle, but you may end up having issues with hurdle spacing unless you're just going to do one rep of each. And if you're just doing one rep of each, it can be hard to get into a rhythm and get high quality ground contacts. But this drill directly trains translating horizontal momentum into a vertical impulse. Number two on my list is zigzag broad jumps or more broadly multi-directional broad jumps. Main goal is just to maintain your speed with each jump. Do your best to not slow down to regain control of your center of mass. But you can easily see the value in this drill and how it relates to changing direction. Not really going to elaborate on it. Number three is consecutive hurdle jumps or forward traveling tuck jumps. With these, you're still moving your center of mass horizontally, but you can just place a greater emphasis on jump height. Hurdles are great if you have them for feedback or just driving intent with each jump. But if you enjoy training and you train with a purpose, you can get the same stimulus with the tuck jumps. And number four on my list is power skips for height and distance. You know, I don't like the specificity arguments, but this is about as specific as you can get to going up with the ball for a layup. The goal when doing these is to maintain your speed and fluidity, jumping as high and as far as you can. And then my last plyo is just single leg bounce. I like doing these for height and or for distance while mixing up various foot patterns. You can do all reps on one leg. You can go left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Or you can go left, right, right, left, right, right. You can get as creative as you want with the patterns. These train your ability to control your center of mass and balance dynamically about as good as anything else. Muscular force that your leg muscles produce from these are very high and a great strength stimulus as well. Yeah, so those are my top five plyos. Comment below what your favorites are. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.